we'll probably be able to take you for everyone. So here we are in Devonshire Green, a very popular place where young people come during their free time to hang out with their friends or to make new friends and do activities such as skating. Building up there because it stood out to me the most. Big job. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but it, the Avron can be like same as that thing, but on that ground. I think the building in the background, the winter garden, is quite well. I would prefer the winter garden to be there too. I want to be an architect and I find out the design of this. I choose the tea garden because uh, it's more social than the winter garden. And I think uh, my comments are too bad and whoever I think with will enjoy it more. The most important feature I think is water. From the and uh, <laughs> uh, if you were to improve one thing yeah. about this uh, this place, what would it be? Yeah. I think the following is just <laughs> no good over there. Tenants previously complained about it being very harsh and unprotected. So they needed it to become greener and to become softer for new tenants. Architects called Urban Splash joined in a project where they refurbished Park Hill and it has become a contemporary piece in the city. Could you just please briefly introduce uh, yourself and what you do? Uh, well, I'm Richard Watts. I'm a landscape architect and I work for the City Council. Uh, and I've been working on uh, Sheaf Valley Park jointly with Grant Associates, who is a landscape architect for Urban Slash. Okay. Um, could you also briefly uh, give a summary of the general vision that you have for Park Hill and what you're planning to do with it? Well, my role in this is very much to do with the park. Um, Grant Associates, who are the landscape architects, are dealing with all these courtyards and the re-landscaping of them to make them something really exciting for the, um, for the flats themselves with different uses, like uh, some of the courtyards will have allotments in, some will have sort of gardens just for enjoying all sorts of activities going on in the courtyards here. I'm working on the park, which is on the outside of the uh, flats here, which really are the main public open space. 
we're now implementing the first phase of it, which is the amphitheatre, which will be for outside entertainments and events to happen in the park. And we'll be starting building that this summer. We're also looking at how this park links with the rest of the city. So it's linking up to Norfolk Park, linking across to the city centre, how we can make it easier for people to get into the park and enjoy it. And then we'll be working as we go on with Urban Splash and their landscape architects to bring more excitement and activity into the park. There might be small terraces where entertainment like music could happen. There may be some that have climbing facilities like climbing walls, climbing boulders. There might be trim trails for keeping fit, outdoor gym activities. So it sounds like there'll be a mix of older generation as well as teenage people using it. How are you going to make it feel safe for everybody? Well, I think there's two things that have to be done really important. The first thing is at night time, I think, to get better lighting into the site. We've got to get um, more lighting and also rather than orange street lighting, get nice clear white lighting so we get a good, good colour rendering at night. That's really important. I don't think it's very engaging, it's quite empty, a lot of wasted space I think. I think it needs some like plants or something, just to liven it up a little. Right. <laughs> Sorry about that. 